So somebody asked me how I created the uh, diesel engine that I stuck in a supercar. So I thought I'd show you. Uh, here you have the uh, specs of it real quick. And then I'll talk more about how to create a fake diesel car uh, engine in uh, automation a little after that. So here we go. And remember, if you uh, are in a newer year, you will get more horsepower and it'll come on differently and such yeah so okay how I created this so it all started with this engine actually now uh, I named it something else this is just a clone but it's the exact same engine without the turbo now the thing is right uh, I wanted to recreate a naturally aspirated diesel a six and a half liter that they put in um, the Humvees back in back in the 80s and 90s. Uh, I made it a 6.6 .6 simply because I like that number better. It <laughs> it sounds stupid, but like, come on. It has two sixes and theoretically two zeros. Like, what's not to love about it? Um, and so this does make more power since we only have gasoline-ish fuels and no diesel in the game. I also wanted to make it kind of basic and reliable, so just mechanical fuel injection per cylinder because it looks better than single. Ew. This has um, about 40 more horsepower than the real life engine, uh, but also 100 newton meters more, so I called it fine, and I mean, slap this thing in any car, uh, or any SUV at least, and it'll be slow. A large part of how I created this was firstly to just sacrifice top end for being able to shove torque down low. One of the ways I did that was by having push rods instead of anything else. Uh, because push rods will restrict the airflow at higher RPM, meaning that all the torque the engine can build will be at lower RPMs. And I mean, this revs to 3,400 RPM, so there are no high RPMs that it can be restricted at. And then we have important things such as manifold size, as you can see, that alters torque. And then intake manifold uh, changes the way the torque graph looks. Uh, but also the amount of horsepower we have, of course, this is all tuned, so race creates the least amount of horsepower because of the way that it's tuned. And then also cast low gives you a lot better uh, torque. As you can see, it gives you a lot more torque. RPM is also kind of important. Diesels generally stay below 5,000 RPM, and that's like the high end. Uh, these big diesel uh, V8s usually rev to 3.4 is the Duramax, and then the Ford Power Stroke is about 4, and then I think it's around 3.5 for the uh, Cummins diesel as well. Um, some European diesels that are a little bit smaller or a little bit different, uh, they can rev up to like 4.5, uh, 4,750 RPM and such. Now, it's kind of important with the cam profile and springs and lifter stiffness because that will place your torque uh, earlier or later and also your horsepower. See, if I make the springs and lifters really soft, the horsepower goes forward and you get more torque uh, because, you know, less resistance. But uh, cam profile also uh, changes where your peak torque is and here you see I could actually have went for more torque but I went for you know better torque and less horsepower of course also the amount of torque to horsepower is very important uh, so this was 2.25 times roughly the amount of torque as horsepower so then it already feels diesely and um, if I slap a turbo on this, which I did, uh, it'll just make the difference greater and it'll be even more like a diesel. So as I said, this is a different version and so it creates a little bit different horsepower. So it's just a different tune. It's the exact same engine, 
uh, as the one I've put in the sports car and the last one I showed you. I slapped on a turbo, no intercooler. Uh, I have made a later version uh, that creates more horsepower and has an intercooler. This was simply to, again, kind of nerf the engine because it is meant to feel slow. It's, it's an old diesel, it's not supposed to be fast, and I mean, it, it doesn't even have one bar of boost. Of course, you can just crank up the boost, but uh, I decided against that to again make it feel more diesel-y. Um, and yeah, it just ended up being quite a really good diesel engine. And hopefully you can take a couple of these tips and tricks and use them for your own diesel engine.